Raphael, the concept of eternity has uh, obsessed me for a long time. When you think about endless time in the future or in the past before my birth, uh, uh, it, 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 it puts one in a feeling of, uh, of extreme smallness, of, of wonder about the universe. And normally when you think about it, you talk to philosophers, maybe a theologian here and there. Uh, but in recent times, physicists and cosmologists are making extraordinarily claims about what you can really know, not a, a million, a billion, a trillion years, but 10 to the hundredth years in the future, and really can see the physics of eternity. Uh, wh what does that mean? Well, eternity means different things to different people, probably. But as a physicist, what I would ask is, um, do we know that time has existed forever, or do we know that it hasn't? Do we know that time will continue to exist forever or not? Um, and there are a few things we know about this and a few things we don't. And I think they're all very interesting. Um, we see that the universe is expanding and we know the equations that govern that expansion. So we're able to run it back in time. We can, in fact, check uh, that we're not uh, wrong about this uh, in some obvious way by, by looking at very distant objects, which is like looking back in time. And, and so we, we know that this works pretty well. And when we run them back in time, we find that at very early times, it looks like all the matter is coming together into a denser and denser state. It's pretty obvious if it's expanding now and you run mm -hmm. it back. It gets crunched uh, if you watch the film backwards. Uh, unless something intervenes, uh, that means that time had a beginning. The universe had a beginning. It's not clear that there was anything before that beginning. That would mean that time is somehow uh, singled out as a very special thing that can never begin or end. But the way that we think about space and time today, there's nothing really that special about time. Uh, those two things come together, and we've already seen examples in theoretical physics where we understand how space can emerge. It remains an open question whether time is really, truly fundamental, somewhat in contradiction with how our theory of, of the universe works, or, uh, or whether time is emergent just as the properties of a piece of wood are emergent. And if you look at the smallest distances, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to call it wood. It's carbon atoms or electrons or something. Mm -hmm. So is time like that, or is it really fundamental, as perhaps quantum mechanics would have us believe, where time plays a very special role? And um, the same question we can ask about the future. Uh, so just as we know that the universe now is only 13.7 billion years old, I say only because, you know, mm -hmm. really, I mean, compared to eternity, <laughs> what's 13 billion years? Um, we can ask, will it last forever? And what will happen in the future? And about this, we know much less. We know much less. Um, it's hard to predict the future. Uh, it could be that it lasts forever. Um, in this case, we have some theoretical difficulties with, uh, you know, why don't we live in the future? <laughs> Most observers probably would. Um, and it could That's be a principle of mediocrity that we should always assume that we're not special on we're either special. tail. Yeah, we would be, be very, exactly. It would be very special if we were the ones that live, you know, 13.7 billion years after such a, such a special event, the beginning of time. Yeah. Uh, and, and yet, you know, there's an infinite amount of more action right. to come. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, because it would be much more likely in some sort of a distribution, a distribution that we would be in the center, wherever the center is. And, uh, yeah. 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 So what we um, what we have to say about the future and whether time will last forever and what will happen, whether there's eternity or not, uh, that depends to a large extent on the models that we have for, uh, for the universe. It could be that the kind of laws of physics that we live in are effective and that are what we call vacuum, empty space, and its properties can decay. Uh, in this case, the entire universe could suddenly come to an end. Uh, you say come to an end, you mean recollapse? It or? would crunch, yeah. But it would crunch only locally. You couldn't escape it, but there'd be other regions where it keeps going. Um, another way you could crunch is by falling into a black hole. Uh, in all of those cases, we end up in what's called a singularity, and we don't know what properties time has at this point. We, it seems that both space and time break down and come to an end, and we do not know what, if anything, replaces them. Um, that, to me, is a very deep and important question. And that would be true in black holes today, whether at the center of galaxies or isolated black holes in galaxies, or if there were a big crunch in the future, if the laws of physics would reverse or something. Yes, yeah, so the laws of physics wouldn't necessarily reverse just because there's a, a big crunch, but 
Well, that would, the, the the cosmological constant that's driving space apart would have to something would that have might to. change sign. Right. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah that, that might change sign and, and cause would, the right. the universe to collapse very rapidly. Um, and and if that happens, all bets are off. Um, I think that if I were coming from the perspective of quantum mechanics, um, I would expect for time to have some fundamental mm -hmm. uh, uh, presence in physics, and, and it would keep going in some way. Uh, perhaps without space. Uh, if I come from the perspective of general relativity, our theory of space and time works pretty well. Um, That's the conflict. I, I would expect time to break down just along with space. And, uh, and I think that the connection that we're trying to make, the unification between uh, quantum mechanics and general relativity, um, a lot of how that's going to work out hinges on the question of what's going to happen with time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because time is a conflict between general relativity, in which time is bound to space, and in quantum mechanics, where time has an independent, uh, fundamental reality. Yes, that, that appears to be how the conflict is set up. And, and really, the extent to which quantum mechanics might need modification, something that very few physicists like to talk about, we're all in agreement that general relativity is, 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 is just, uh, in some sense, an emergent theory. Um, but quantum mechanics, I think, too, might need modification, in particular if time is only an approximate concept. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look out into the future in terms of the objects that are the most long-lasting are black holes, and you can probably, in terms of their ultimate evaporation through Hawking radiation, you can look maybe 10 to the 100th years in the future. But even 10 to the 100th years is a meaningless number compared to eternity. So even 10 to the 100 years is a very small uh, amount of time compared to eternity. And unfortunately, we just don't know. Will time go on forever or will it come to an end and when? Uh, personally, I suspect that it will come to an end. Uh, it's very difficult to understand uh, how you could compute the probability of anything in a universe that just keeps going on forever, whether it's space or time. This is a problem um, that a lot of physicists are quite worried about, called the measure problem. And the proposals for uh, measures for ways of computing the probability of anything that actually happens in the universe all involve, in a trick way, cutting off time. What we've discovered is that the probabilities we get behave as if time really ended in this allegedly trick way. And I think it's telling us that there has to be a physical process that that cuts off time at some point in order for probabilities to make sense in the world.